The reindeer can't fly if there are more people on the naughty list than the nice list. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So if the world is bad, the reindeer are grounded? Yes. Wow, now what is the fuel that makes the sleigh go besides the reindeer? I understand that you believe there is some special thing there. It's called a glee tank. A glee tank is when all the children's cries of glee when they see their presents on Christmas morning and it's stored up for every year to be used. So. If you could see the glee tank, what do you think it would look like? Is it huge? Is it small? Is it red? Is it green? It's it's very big, because probably most kids cry. Well, not cry, but are happy when they see the presents. And it's probably many colors. It's the colors of whatever their presents are wrapped in. And these are cries. Merry Christmas, everybody! Naughty or nice, how does Santa know? I think that he has snow globes that, um, that, have every, that show everyone's house, and he has a little detector in their house that, uh, that, um, that dings that only he can hear at his factory when you're naughty, but then it, um, but then it makes a, uh, a good sound when you're nice. So everybody's house has a naughty or nice detector? And he can only see it. So it's in every house. You just can't see it. Have you looked around your house? Yeah, we can't find it. Maybe it's inside the walls. Oh. Now, do you think the same thing as your sister? Or? Nope. Okay, how do you think Santa I think can he tell? just has one giant snow globe. And then he just says a person's name like us, and then it shows how we're doing. And then he sees if we're like breaking our sister's lamps or something, and then he'll put us on the naughty list or nice if we're being good. Jack, should I figure that maybe somebody in your house broke somebody's lamp? <laughs> no. Oh, you were just using an example. I broke his lamp on accident. <laughs> I tipped it over. Did she go on the naughty list for that, Jack? No, it was an accident. <laughs> Merry Christmas. The elves found Santa Claus on their front porch. Just he was hanging out one night? Yeah, <laughs> and because his mother left him on their front porch. Oh, he was a baby? Yes. Oh, okay. And they raised him, and when he was about to go on his own, the head elf, mother elf, um, put on his red suit and gave him one, and he was so excited that he never took it off. Naughty or nice, how does Santa know? Well, Frosty the snowman gave him um, this magical snowball. Wait a minute, Santa and Frosty are buddies? Yes. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> and um, So Frosty gives Santa what now? A magical snowball that was made out of um, his snow and he could just look into it and he could tell the person's name and he could see them and see if they're being good, naughty, depends. Wow. How in the world can Santa visit every home on our planet in one day or one night? How does he do that? Well, he travels in warp speed and different countries have different time zones. So he maps it out and see which country is gonna be on time so he can make it throughout the world. Okay, so we know now Santa is buddies with Frosty the Snowman. Yes. Are you telling me that he's buddies with the Star Trek people? Um, no, not really. <laughs> well, where is this warp speed thing? Are you saying that Star Trek borrowed warp speed from Santa Claus? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody, and I hope you have a great Christmas and get lots of presents from Santa. What if you wanted to go into somebody's house? and they didn't have a chimney, and you were Santa. I mean, just to magically appear? I'd have the reindeer kick their door down. <laughs> Did you run into Santa at Dairy Queen? Tell me the story. Um, me and my mom and my dad, when I was, I think it was six, we went inside and I, and I whispered to my mom, that looks like Santa Claus. <clears throat> and on our way out, um, the, guy, the guy said, um, Yes, I'm him, and he gave my mom a little sheet of paper. I don't know what it said. Maybe it was the naughty or nice thing. Mom? 
That's my name. Well, Mom's not talking. Are you kidding me? Right, Mom? Yeah, that's, that's a secret. Sometimes it gets pretty warm here, even in December. Doesn't Santa get a little hot in the red suit? What's the deal with that? Um, he can take it off. Really? And he has a t-shirt that says, I heart Las Vegas. Well, that's all right. What is Santa's favorite TV show? Run, Fat Boy, Run. I've never seen that movie. What is that? Is that a TV show? No, it's actually a movie, but another exercise program to run off all the um, um, cookies and milk. Oh, sure, because if you imagine there's millions of kids, Santa's having millions of cookies in one night. Yeah. If you had a chance to sit down and actually speak personally with Santa one-on-one, -on -one, you know, outside of sitting on his lap and making a Christmas list, what would you talk to Santa about? What would you ask him? Um, last year, um, I would ask him if, if he actually um, put magic in my Taekwondo Jongbong that I'm one world champion in an ATA martial arts, if he put magic in it or did I earn it? You're still trying to find that one out. And what did you call it? He put magic in your what? Taekwondo Jongbong. What is that? It's like um, a long stick. With, like It's a wooden stick, but you can put um, like chrome, like those shiny tape things. Oh, okay. But it doesn't wear out. And did you say you won a world championship? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool. What age group? What was the what the division? Um, one to eight. Congratulations. Thank you. Merry Christmas.